Hi, and thanks for taking a look at Quick Decals. This is a add-on for the Unity 3D engine that allows you to very quickly and simply drop in decals onto your level. So that allows you to make any scene look much more alive, used. Um, obviously, it's especially good for things like grungy de detail, leaks on the ceiling, blood splatters, of course, dirt and oil and such. So Quick Decals makes it very, very simple to drop this sort of thing into your scene so that you can break up tiling textures and just really make it come alive. So take a look at how this works now that we have a little scene here to um, put something together. Go up to the uh, window in the top menu, 6x7, over to Quick Decals. And this will bring up a simple little tool interface where you can drop on either one decal at a time or random decals. And we'll look at that a little bit later. So first of all, just adding in a single decal at a time. Simply choose any decal style material from your uh, library. So maybe I'll go with a sort of a blood splatter. And let's say I want to drop it on right over here. So all I have to do is hold control and then right click and it'll drop it right on. If your decal like this one happens to be a non yeah, non-square text, you might have to scale it a little bit or something to get it just right. Of course, you can scale them all differently if you want to just make your decals not look all the same, of course. And set it however you like. You'll notice that if you're using ProGrids, another tool uh, that I make to use, the decals will not snap to the grid. This uh, These decals are set up so that you can move them around completely freely, even if you have ProGrids turned on, so that uh, makes things a little easier. They also react to light and shadows just right, and can also be light mapped perfectly, so that'll save a lot of draw calls for you if you're using multiple decals. Let's drop in some others just to see. So maybe I want a just a broken up tile here or something, or some plaster on the ground. Move that around however you like and a few others. Blood splatters are always good. So as you can see, very, very simple to set up. And with just a few of these, you can really start to make your scene come alive in a good way. So we really haven't added that much to this, but already this is starting to look like more than just some tiling textures and such. Uh, another nice thing you can do with this is add in detail that would otherwise take up a lot of uh, mesh room. So especially if you're making a mobile game or some such, let's say you wanted a door to be here, but you don't want to have to add in the actual mesh for it or do anything too fancy. You can create some uh, door decals. In this case, I've got one here and just drop it on. Obviously this comes in a little bit too small. We'll just scale it up to about the size that's needed. I think a little more on this scale here. And there you have a door. If you set it to be, uh, or to use normals and even tessellation if you're using DX11, um, you'll really be able to make it look nice. In this case you can see the lights working on this just right and it really looks like there's a mesh door there. So that can be very handy, again, adding into your scene and just making it look a lot more um, a lot more used and lived in and such, so it's much more believable for you. Add in some others here just because it's fun to keep adding these on. So there we have it. That's quick decals. Not a lot to it. Um, we'll take a quick look actually at the random feature. So if you turn on random, add in, let's say we want five different decals. And then we'll drop in a couple of these. So let's just go with blood splatter, another blood splatter, another one. And that might be about all I have that works. Yep, so I'm going to knock that back to four. And now, let's say I go to a wall that I really want to add some detail onto. Maybe over here. 
I can just add these in and it will randomly assign them just like so. And probably better if you had a few more items in there than just four. As you can see, I'm getting some repeating, but I can always break that up a bit by moving these around, rescaling them, etc. So, oops, that's the random feature. can be handy if you need to fill up a lot of space quickly and just add to it. So thanks again for taking a look, and remember you can check this out, purchase it on the Asset Store or directly online at 6x7studio.com slash quickdecals. Thanks for looking.